White Rock 85, almost the start of the 2013 Pennsylvania deer season. Just arrived here at the cabin. Nice balmy 27 degrees outside. Well, that was 2013. Now here we are, 2023. I just arrived at the cabin. Uh, I'm here, I'm the first one up. Mike will be uh, joining us a little bit later. And uh, it's just gonna be uh, us two for the weekend. Uh, I'll pause the video and uh, go with my solo piece for four days or so and then Eric will be joining me and then uh, Steve and Mike will be back. Unfortunately, Sean will not be here. Uh, he is uh, out west and uh, I think uh, if you've watched his latest video, I think it's up in the corner here or in the other corner. Uh, he's, uh, he's out there RVing it and uh, living the life out there in the west right now. Uh, he's basically just gonna kind of loop the country and watch his channel to see what happens. But uh, hey, as always, it's, uh, we're here for Pennsylvania Deer Camp, uh, the tradition that is Pennsylvania deer uh, hunting, and uh, it's one of the latest in the country. Uh, so a lot of them have already took place. I've seen some great, great bucks so far taken, and uh, we hope to uh, to be one of those uh, camps that takes one here this year in PA. Uh, the rut happened. Uh, about uh, two weeks or so ago, I saw all kinds of nice pictures on the game camera and uh, it slowed down over the last 10 days or so, but uh, we're hoping that they're still here. So, I've got a lot of stuff to unpack, as you can see, even though uh, I'm here by myself, I've overpacked as always, and uh, I'll get that done, I'll get the cabin warmed up, and then uh, let's make a trip down to the blind and we'll get a chair set and a pad and get that all opened up and get the stuff in there for tomorrow morning. As, uh, it's, uh, what is it now, 12.30 now. So I got about four and a half hours of light, which is plenty. And uh, we'll, like I said, we'll get everything opened up, get the, uh, get the blind opened up and uh, we'll be all set. So uh, let's get going. Uh, but first, what should I take out? Case of beer. A quick temp check as always. 40.9 out, 40.9 in. You know what that means. That means uh, get that uh, gas heater going for now. I got a nice little fire going. We have some wood here and wood outside. So uh, let's, uh, let's get that going too before I even start unpacking. Well, you can see it's warm enough. 47 in here and even went down a degree outside. Uh, gonna be a chilly night, I think. Uh, not quite sure. I've seen a few variations, but uh, well into the 20s tonight. Hey, speaking of staying warm, I know I have the quilts that Mrs. Uh, Rook has made me for the bed, but uh, this year I brought up a uh, wool blanket, and this is a uh, new old stock. This is what you got from Marlboro Country from smoking your Marlboro Reds. Uh, send them in, you get a blanket way back in the day so this is a nice wool blanket uh started using wool blankets at home eh, a couple of years back or so and uh, i found them to be very very nice a little bit more breathable and things like that here it is i think it looks pretty nice on there and uh this is even a matching pillowcase that mrs rook kindly made me so uh doing the doing the pennsylvania tuxedo and it looks pretty nice on here uh Got the bunk here, and uh, I have my 350 Legend with me. Still have a little bit of green grass. They, they did do a little digging around here. They can find some green grass. So hopefully they, they'll come by. Let's get the lock off and uh, get in there, get the stuff set, and get back. Get these leaves out first, and we'll get the chair in and heater. May need that. We're all set, and we'll get out of here. Keep the area quiet. I don't think Mike is going in the woods tonight at all, which is good. Or today, I should say. And, uh, you know, hey, hold on. I'll be looking for maybe a little coffee and snack when I get back, and definitely some Tony's Pizza tonight. See what it's like. One good thing. I can, I can go back like this. I could tell the wind. The wind is cutting across this way right now. So if I lean back a little bit, I can get out of the wind. 
and I'll have the heater. Uh, that'll be nice. Some of that grass is right next to the stand. And you can see a lot of it has been nipped at, cut down. And definitely deer in there eating this. So, let's hope it brings a doe by and buck will follow. I'll take a walk right up to the landing area right now. Check that out. And uh, it's been that's been great. And I appreciate that clover. And uh, it's it's really done well. And it's brought the deer in there. So let's go up check it out. The clover field now it's mowed down to the nub. Uh, it is uh, really cut. They've been in here over and over and over again, eating the heck out of it. And uh, unfortunately, probably could use about five times as much clover up here. The thick part that was over here that's all eaten down, but. Hey, I've, I've seen them in here as of uh, this morning, so uh, they're still coming in for some and they're dough, so hopefully the bucks will, will still be looking for some dough. That's what we're hoping for. You know, PA season was when Delaware season was three, three, two weeks ago. Would have been perfect. So, and I don't want archery hunt up here, so I know you may ask, but uh, no. All right, well, this looks good. I'm getting back to the cabin, get some fire going, and uh, get a coffee going, too. Coffee and a fire, that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Flag is up, so that means we're just about there for an open camp. Good to see the flag flying, as always. It took me a while, but I'm finally getting to the coffee. Here it is, uh, 319. I saw this from Mike. This is uh, Stella Blue, and this is some, something from uh, Barstool Sports. So during uh, during the regular deer camp, we'll be drinking that, get a coffee going, a little snack, and Mike will be here in about two hours, drop some stuff off, and then we'll head down to Tony's. And it's feeling good in the cabin here. We got like 62, but it feels warmer than that, I'll tell you. 32 outside. We know who this UFO is. The chairman. Arriving in style. Didn't bring anything again, huh? Hey, what do you know? No beef jerky, no pretzels. I did bring a full pumpkin pie. Oh, there you go. That's that's worth it. I did bring a full pumpkin pie. Okay. Um, yeah, no pretzels, no beef jerky. Anything in there I can grab? Uh, what is this? Does this mean I can get my charger back in my room? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I brought up my rock pals. What's that, new? New last year, but unfortunately, I think they're out of business. Really? Yeah. How, how many watts is that? Uh, like 13, 1300. That's nice. Yeah. Nice Official stuff. greeting it with light. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Well, Pumpkin I pie, know, nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a full guy. That's a full pie. You'll finish that. Yeah, oh, we'll gosh, get into yeah. that during the week. Yep. But you'll get into that during the week. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I do have you know, a little uh a little oh, yeah. trinket. Yeah. I don't know if you want that. Yeah, we'll and find then a spot for it. Something maybe you can put the napkins and something in that yeah. on the thing. Yeah, Got maybe. a little bottle snapper. Well, yeah. I think that's when you're bringing out a six pack to your buddies around a yeah. campfire. You know? Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Nope. Then, I, you know, now that I'm a bourbon guy. It's either that or we'll throw it right in the fire. Right in the fire. All right. Don't know if you've ever had this. I haven't had it yet. Which one is that? It's called Horse Soldier. It's made from, there was yeah. a movie about the... George uh, John Wayne? No, no. Oh. Afghanistan guys oh, okay. that wanted on horses. Oh, on horses. They made okay. a movie with one of the Helmsworths. Oh, it's like 12 it, yeah. strong or something. Okay. But one of them guys makes his own bourbon. All right. So... We'll definitely check that um, out. Horse Soldier. Okay. I can't see anymore because I'm almost 50. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vision's gone in the past couple months. Yeah. I always see. I always use leave glasses up here in my, I can't in my see thing. I think. <laughs> Hopefully these guys can see you that. See this, yeah. Yeah, if you're cowboys. Uh oh boop, fuck boop, your boop. cow beep. Beep the cowboys. <laughs> Tough game this week. Mm. Um yeah, so we can get into that. Is that ours, Tony? Uh, Pepperoni sausage? Yes. Okay. All right. 
Are you, uh, are you, are you the YouTuber? Yeah, I'm the YouTube guy. So, yeah, I wanted to talk to you. I said, uh, somebody had stopped in and yeah. said, uh, you said to make sure I said hi next time I was in. Yeah. But I, when I come in, I don't want to bother you. I know you're so busy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So yeah, well, I, I, for the advertisement. I, we get, I, every time, every time we give you a good shout out, telling everybody Thank to stop you. in here. It's the, the best pizza in town, that's for sure. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Delaware. Delaware. I live in Delaware, yeah, below Dover. And uh, Mike is uh, Phil, he's, uh, outside of Philly, above outside Philly. Outside of Philly? Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, we, uh, we love coming in here. Thank you. So, looks good, Tony. Looks good. Thank well, I just you. wanted to say hi. I know somebody stopped in yeah. and said something. He said, make sure, make sure I say hi next yeah, time. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know what this guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I yep. see. Yeah, oh yeah. Thank you. Uh, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you too. Yes, sir. So. Well, here's our pizza. It was so good we already started eating it. Thank you. And the wings. Oh boy. Garlic butter. Let's try this guy. Well, let's try the horse soldier. Try the horse soldier. Again, you know what this the story behind it. Yep. But, now that I know, it's not John Wayne or Soldier no, movie. No, it's not. There we go. A good, a good pick of it there. And, there and, it and it, guys, let us know if that's good stuff. Like I don't, I don't have the, the mouth yet, mm -hmm. the taste yet of yep. them. I just got into these like two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. But all right, we got our little pour. All right, small batch. I got no vision. Mm -hmm. I like the labels though, yeah. and I think it's out of like. Uh, oh yeah. There you go. What numbers are these, Thomas? Like one and a half. Oh, yeah, they should be good. Exactly for you. what the big guy needs. Oh yeah, that's what I need. Ninety-five proof. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, it's gonna have a little burn on the. A little burn. No. Oh, the United yeah. States of America was forged by pioneers, bold trailblazers, explorers, and warriors. The American spirit of adventure we proudly present: horse soldier bourbon whiskey. All right, Thomas. There we go. There's one, one for one for me. Oop, a little spillage. Uh oh. Don't waste it. No, don't waste Cut it. Cut that out. You want like a half a straight shot? I got a little shot. You got a little guys? Yeah. Yeah, let's do a little nipper. They call that neat, Thomas. Yes, neat. There we go. A triple shot of that. Right there we go. A nice, a nice chairman, old fashioned. Look at that syrup sitting down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to mix it? You good? Mm -mm. How's it taste on that? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, that is very good. I say we I'm let's try. Let's try, try some of this. Neat, Tom. Neat some, for our bourbon meat. guys. Uh, you know. All right. Ooh, a little hot at first. But goes away. It goes away quick. Quick. Yeah, it goes away very quick, which is which is nice. Ooh. Mm hmm Nice aftertaste. Uh, yeah, I'm not there yet. That's why I would love any of the guys that watch our show to channel. Yeah. To, yeah. If Let that's us know. Like, You've what, had the horse soldier. Here we are, opening the morning. Me and the chairman. What up? Going solo. Solo. You know. We'll see what's out there this morning. I know there's some does around, so let's uh, let's hope there's something else. Got the coffee going in the background. That's what you hear, and uh, we'll get some coffee, get a little something to eat, and uh, get out there in the woods. Somebody's driving by already, or that's his generator. Oh, his generator's on. Holy shit. I think it went all night. I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess it's good that it just goes all night and they get used to it. Get used to it, I'm guessing. The chairman and I are dressed and ready. We're heading out. Maybe a little, a uh, couple of minutes late, but that's that's our, that's our MO. It's our thing. Yeah, that's our thing. So we're heading out, and uh, we'll see you in the deer stands. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, boy. Pennsylvania. This is a many, many deer seasons for me. So we'll look for a nice morning and uh, hopefully something will come by for either one of us. We'll uh, turn
turn the light out, get quiet for a bit. Starting at light, heard the first couple shots. So we are there. About 23 degrees here inside. So I just let that uh, heater up for a little bit. Probably let that go for about an hour or so. So far, nothing. Mike has seen nothing. It's about 7:30 uh, ish. Pretty quiet. Uh, sporadic shots here and there, but nothing, uh, nothing real close uh, that I could tell anyway. But uh, I keep on looking, keep on watching, and uh, watching and waiting. That's what it's about. We saw one doe came right underneath the stand. Unbelievable. The doe walked into my left over here and walked right towards the stand. I think it is probably on the game camera pictures over here, so I'll have to take a look. But I walked right over here. I could, I could hear it right underneath the stand and right out the trail that I normally walk in on. Didn't seem to have any issues with scent. Uh, and I know these boots are scent free. They shouldn't have any really human scent on the outside of them. Uh, they're rubber on the bottom, so that's good. But uh, uh, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. It's 10.30 now. That's about when that deer came by. It was about 10.25. So about 10.30 now. And uh, I'm probably gonna wait about 10 minutes or so and uh, head back to the cabin and get some uh, get some lunch or soup or something like that, or coffee. There, water. A little rub on this tree right here. This pond, you can see it was beat up a little bit. Branch broken there. Definitely a deer did that. Right up here we got a small scrape. Not real fresh. This area right there. And up that way is the landing area. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see the orange, but the gate to the property is right there. And there's the root out there. That was pretty close. You know, I'm f 15 feet away from the road. And uh, it's probably one of those small small spikes and four pointers I was seeing up in the landing area that I not a huge thing but nice to see so we had that one doe this morning and that was about it but the hey take a look at the sheriff Jim's buck for from this morning look at this nice uh, eight point or seven point with one broken off Jim, congratulations. Good job. Way to go. Really, Jim. Very, very, very nice. We'll get back to the cab and see how the solar's doing, too. Let's take a look at our beer selection for the trip and uh, looking at it for uh, for just me being here and, and Mike that doesn't have too much until Steve gets here. Uh, there's way too much, but uh, let's go through it real quick. Hey, uh, 2013 had the heavy seas. Sort of sampler pack, and this is the IPA pack, the uh, Cannon Crew. And uh, this was uh, Spillion, which is near me. Saw the uh, the uh, Kitty Roosevelt uh, IPA and uh, had to get that. And uh, of course, a little PA representation, the Hop Cyclone from uh, Trogues. And then uh, the dogfish. I saw this recently at a store, and this this is like one of the extras I picked up. But had to pick up the Pennsylvania tuxedo, and uh, that's always a good one. And uh, one last thing, the bottle of Rabbit Hole, and this was uh, sent down to me from Tim up in Mass. And Tim uh, really appreciated. I know Mike uh, Mike and I are going to have a tad tonight. And uh, we're going to really enjoy that. And uh, your crew 
uh, up, up there at the camp. Had a great New York camp and a lot of bucks being taken. Let's, let's take a few of those pictures and uh, here they are. A lot of bucks, some doe taken and uh, congrats to your crew on a very, very successful season. Hopefully these won't freeze out here. I think it's about 30 something right now, but being close to the cabin, they should be okay. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll probably pop one tonight. I even haven't had a beer. I had this couple drinks last night and that was it. So, but uh, hey, it's, it's around noon now, or not even noon, 11.13, so we know we ain't gonna have any now before I uh, head back out this afternoon. Mike is taking a walk up the road and then gonna go down a trail, kind of do a little still hunting and, and uh, stump sitting, etc. this afternoon. And yeah, we just saw that one doe this morning that kind of came past both of, both of us. He saw it first and then it came out right over me. But uh, we'll go ahead out for this afternoon, first day. And it sure does look nice in the in the winter here with the leaves down. And a few more trees would have been nice to take out. There's about five of them down there. Probably could have went. Would have been nice in the summertime. And uh, yeah, let's take a look from the opposite direction. Well, there we are up on the mountain up there. So, uh, well, let's get the, let's get down there. Let's get hunting. Our steak for tonight. This is basically a tomahawk. Look how thick that is. And the tomahawk's cut off, so you can call it a tama or a, a hawka. But uh, this is our hulka we're gonna have tonight. Garlic infused olive oil, a little kosher salt, Kinder's buttery steakhouse, of course, and a little paprika for color. Put that on there, get that on the grill, got my thermometer, we'll get it up to temp and then uh, sear it. Thermometer over there says right about 100. Let's take a quick look. Oh my gosh. Get some better light on that. Oh, there we go. That's too much. How's that? That is looking excellent. And sounding excellent too. We're at uh, 131, so that's right where I wanted to be. I'm going to pull it off, let it rest for a little bit, and get those mashed potatoes and uh, mushrooms heated up. Salad ready. There we go. We got the, the, the tomahawk or hawk and uh, mushroom gravy and uh, mashed potatoes and then, of course, the salad. Kind of becoming the tradition for the uh, for the owner's supper on Saturday night, oh, isn't there. it? The, the owner's supper. Oh, All right, let's plate this baby up here. Chairman and I are ready to go out. 27 this morning uh, but a little bit more windy than yesterday so we'll have to deal with a little bit of wind chairman will be half day into today uh, he'll go back and then he'll be coming back next week so I'll have to have to keep the place nice warm for a week and uh, do. I, I get the place myself for a few days till Larry gets here on Thursday night so, one more morning for the chairman and I a little coffee this morning. Stella, Stella Blue is pretty good. That's it. That's not Stella. a bad coffee. A Stella. Little, little shout out. Stella. Stella. My streetcar. Oh, the uh, streetcar named Desire, right? Yeah. With Marlon Brando. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had to watch that. Oh. Like, well, we'll like get out there in a. We'll get out there in a no, twenty minutes Stella. or so. Back in second morning. About uh, 29 this morning after a little bit of a breeze. Uh, probably not going to stay in as long as yesterday because Mike will be leaving. So we're hoping for some early quick action. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be within the next uh, half hour to 45 minutes so we can get things done here. I'll, I'll just uh, get back to looking and watching. Seen what the woods have to offer this morning. Yeah, like crisp but nice. Crisp. I was warmer today than I was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. Just sat there all day, dude. Yeah. Oh nice. yeah. Well, Mike is gonna head back. I heard a lot of shooting from a ton, a ton, a lot. Like we talked about on the walk in, man. Yep. These guys are grabbing them before yeah. they ride home. I think it's browning down this morning. Yes, sir. But, uh, Mike is going to pack up, he's going to head back, and then he will be back on the weekend. 
and uh, I'll start my what solo is, piece pretty soon. What it, what it, what it get? What cook? With the cook. With the cook who? With the bloated tick. Who's, uh, <laughs> he's got a special treat. Yeah, new, he does. A new dish. A new dish he's gonna try out. He's unveiling. I'll be also unveiling a new dish. Tony Stromboli. Tony Stromboli. Tony Stromboli. Tony Stromboli will be my new dish. Okay. Uh, Saturday. Oh. Oh. oh, good luck, everyone. Right. We'll pick it up next week, man. Yeah. You hear what sound like a flintlock over there? Tom? Yeah. Is that the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. So Big game against the Bills today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like the birds today. <laughs> All right, see you later, right, I'll see you in a couple days. Hit me up if you need anything. Okay. All right. All you. right, Mike. See you later. Hey, off goes the chairman into the sunrise this morning. Uh, he's going down the, to see, meet with the family and some relatives, some Buffalo fans, and they're going to have a, uh, have a time watching the game. So we're going to put the brakes on it right here, and we'll pick it up when uh, Eric arrives on Thursday evening or afternoon, whenever he gets up here. again four days later uh, the deer camp continues now it is Thursday afternoon about uh, a little after 1 1 15 something like that I'm here at our gate to open it up for no other than medical man yes Eric is actually making an appearance he missed last year with back issues he's still having some issues and uh, uh, you know, say a few prayers for him but uh, hopefully he'll get past this. He may need another surgery, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully everything will be good with him and he'll be back in, uh, maybe in the spring. I'm not sure whether well, he'll be able to make it spring trip or not. Or, hey, if he just comes to sit around the campfire, there's nothing wrong with that. So uh, I'll go let him in. He's gonna get himself set up this afternoon. Uh, we'll see if he's gonna end up hunting at all. I think he's just really just gonna set, uh, set, get ready for tomorrow. Now tomorrow they are saying rain. I'll go ahead and go open that gate behind me and uh, we'll let medical man in and uh, I think he's pulling his four-wheeler as always. So we'll get up there and uh, uh, get back to the cabin, get him unpacked and everything. And then uh, I have to show him the lay of the land so things have changed since he's been here. So let me walk over and open that gate up. And here he comes, the missing man. Medical man coming in in a cheap Rubicon. I don't think it's his. Could be a girlfriend, maybe. Significant other. But we're glad to see him. Here he is. Finally, he's finally made it up. For my one year absence. Yes, yeah, at least one year absence. I think he didn't make the spring trip either. Uh, well, yeah, I meant the, an actual the, hunting. Yes, actual yeah. hunting trip, yes. Oh, well, well, Sean's not going to be here this year, so he's the missing man this year. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yep. So. He's out exploring the western part of the country. Yes, he is. <laughs> yep, I think he's in Arizona right now. That's nice. what I seem to remember. So... That's it. That's where it is. So let's uh, let's get you all unpacked. Yeah. We'll get the four wheeler off. Uh, Eric's got the four wheeler. Yeah. Sound can only mean one thing. Friday morning, Eric is here. It's uh, about quarter after five, five twenty. Get to grab a cup and uh, head out. Now well, it'll be two of us again. So, uh, Steve and Mike, as I mentioned supposed to arrive I don't know tomorrow separately somehow I'm at the, we'll grab a coffee and we'll get out there in the woods rain today so uh, Eric will be drying his stand I'll be drying my stand and uh, I'll be dry when I'm back here in the cabin there's Eric on his trusty Steve we haven't seen that for a while have we 
All right, Eric, good luck. Good luck. Well, Eric just left. I'll be taking off in a couple minutes here, and we'll, we'll see what this rain brings us today. But hopefully, uh, Eric will see something down there. I've purposely left that area quiet. I haven't been down that way. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, as they say, as I say constantly. We'll see what happens. Not quite shooting time yet, but uh, you can see that red sunrise. Red in the morning, it's early take morning, and uh, that'll be today. We'll see what time the rain's supposed to start. It's a varying forecast depending on what you look at. So it might not be until 10 or noon, and then stop later, we'll see. But uh, Eric is staying in all day, and uh, I'll probably be here to whatever time I think I can handle. But uh, what a a nice sunrise this morning. Well, a little after 10 and uh, the rain, I'll let's check the radar, it's getting close. So I'm going to try to get out before the rain hits. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can hear some drops coming down now or some ice. So, uh, you know, I was hoping for that front to maybe get some things moving, but heard a few shots early, pretty far away, but nothing since. I thought maybe some guys would be up for the weekend. But uh, we'll see this afternoon. And uh, of course, Mike and Steve will be here tomorrow, so our numbers will be up a little bit. Well, I'm going to head back to the cabin and uh, maybe see about getting a fire going or what. Well, I have one last thing for the uh, Blue Pot Cafe uh, this trip. And this is a uh, B29 uh, Super Fortress pin. Uh, 50th anniversary that uh, Tim from Mass sent and uh, his dad flew in one of these in World War II. Uh, let's take a look at this pin real quick. Tim's dad was in charge of the central fire control on the B-29 Thumper. He flew 25 successful missions over Japan and was part of the 870th Bomb Squadron. And Tim, this will, this will go up there. I appreciate you sending me the pin and we'll go ahead and put it right up here. And it's right next to uh, the wings that were sent to me, the 8th Air Force pin. So very fitting little spot there. Let me flip the light on here. There we go. And uh, there it is right there. Looks looks very good. And as always, uh, the Blue Pot uh, honoring our veterans, our first responders, our true Americans. Back out in the... Uh my tree stand and uh, yeah, we'll just look over this for a little bit and uh, hopefully they'll be moving this afternoon well I need something to come through I need something to lift my spirits up a little bit got Eric's Buckeye chili going up over here uh, any of the Buckeyes had a heartbreaking loss to Michigan last weekend but I'm sure that didn't go over well in their household but no, it didn't. we shall enjoy this chili and a bison chili, 100% bison chili. So this is going to be really good. We'll get some bread going in a minute. All right, that's hot and bubbling. And we got some garlic toast over here. So there's dinner tonight. Eric's getting ready to go out Saturday morning. It is a foggy mess out there today. But uh, he'll put the time in and... Uh, Steve should be arriving at some point 10, I think Mike like 10.30. So we'll, we'll look forward to the rest of the crew coming in today. I think we'll look forward to it. <laughs> Walking out this morning, you can see the fog in the air. It is super foggy. I'm thinking visibility is 25, 30 yards at this point. Saturday morning, we've been here a week now. I saw a deer last Saturday morning. Maybe I'll see one today. Oh, something's got to give. Something's got to give. It just took a while to dawn to break this morning. Well, you can see that fog out there. That's still about 35 yards or so up the trail here. That overhanging branch, that's about 35, 40 yards. 
and uh, it's really about to the end of my viewing area. Well, and it's going to be very quiet. It's very soft out there with the leaves. So I don't think I'll be able to sneak around today if they're even moving in this uh, in this weather. Well, the door is open. That can only mean one thing. Chairman and the cook have arrived. They're coming in. Come on in. Eagles green. I love that. I love that. Okay. Are we let them squash? Uh, uh, <laughs> you are a grumpy animal. Uh, so what's going on? So much. How are you? Okay. All right, Steve. Steve is in. Michael will be in in a minute. Bringing this stuff in. Oh, is, are we rolling? Yeah, we, of course, of course we are. <laughs> what's up? There. What's up, muggers? Uh, back out this afternoon, and uh, I'm in my uh, climbing or my tree stand, not the uh, the blind. So Steve is is up this way. And he's posted up under a pine, I think, in a chair. And uh, the chairman down over on my other side. And he was taking a walk. And then he's got a little hot seat to sit on. going to post up under a tree. Eric is still on the blind. And, uh, and then Mike is going to take a little bit of walk uh, a little later to see if he can stir some things up. Uh, it's relatively quiet shooting-wise today. Very quiet. And uh, we did hear some shots, but it almost sounded like somebody was sighting the rifle in on Saturday afternoon at uh, 1 o'clock. So, Eric, I don't think I've seen anything today. I haven't seen anything. And, of course, Mike and Steve just arrived today. So, it'll be uh, Steve's first hunt this afternoon and Mike's uh, fourth this will be out there, or is out there this afternoon. So looking forward to uh, seeing what happens this afternoon. And then uh, it's Tony's time again. Mike is going all out, and we'll be heading into Tony's. When this, uh, when this evening sit concludes. I've had this stand for a long time here. I can't remember when I put it up. I actually have the date on it. I think it was 2008. And you know, I moved it a couple times, a bit close. Uh, over this way, right there. I'm not sure if you can see the the blind or the stand in the tree. I used to sit on that one. That was a little uncomfortable there. I always saw deer down in this bowl down here, uh, but uh, a lot of beech has grown up since, and that's all the orangey that you can see in there now. All the leaves that's still on the trees are beech. So. A lot of that has grown up over the last 10 years or so, or 5 to 8 years. You can see they're still pretty small. Yeah, we'll keep the focus in there and up the hill a little bit over this way. And uh, back over there you can see my old ladder stand that I have to cut some of those legs so nobody tries to get up in there. Let's see what Tony's got. You better have our order ready. And they better be crispy, yo. I told them, well done. Oh! Yep. Excuse us. Oh. Is that us over there, Tony? Okay. Sure, hold on one second. There we go. We'll get a little Tony action here. Sure, hold on a second. Tony! Tony, come on, Tony. Oh, man. Yes! 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 That's what I want to see. Having trouble finding, getting the game on, though. What do we got here? Oh, look at that cheesesteak oh, stromboli. Wings, wings, cheese steak, cheese steak, pizza. We're eating. Nobody's won this championship after trailing by eight or more in the fourth quarter. Georgia trying to change that statistic. All right, Thomas. Uh, this 
this called? Oh yeah, I like this. What's this called? Rabbit hole? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cork. Corker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious, Thomas. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like yeah. to start with a nice two ounce. Oh, oh definitely. definitely. Start with a nice, generous two ounce pour. All right, mm -hmm. just cover the ice tops, all right? All right, boom. This the, orange, the orange bitters. This one? Yeah. All right. I'll give you a little shot of that, Thomas. One, two, three. All right. Cherry? Cherry, definitely. Do you like an orange peel, orange slice? I know in a real I believe in a real old fashioned they peel. Yeah. I'll take the peel. Take Thomas, the peel. some peel, peel action twist. for you. Twist Thomas, that. I've seen this move. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there you go. And we're done. That that should be nice mm. for you. I like a little bigger orange on mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that gets thrown in there. And we're ready to go. Bon appetit. You, you tried yeah. it? What do you think? Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah. Oh, did he mm -hmm. make you one? No, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah, Let's try it with the uh, without the maple syrup. That does you can't even taste it. Is that bitters? Now. Yeah. This has bitters too, doesn't it? I threw bitters and maple syrup in mine. Yeah. That's orange in there. That's just orange. Does this have a peel in it? Yep. Yeah. Did you try mine? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. A little shot of maple syrup. The good yeah. shit. That's why. I like that too though. That tastes more. I than like more orange. Traditional. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely totally traditional. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, we're setting it up. That's right there. So I, yeah. Gina's good. This is a uh, Ooh, leaf special bird. edition. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this. Whoa. That may have. That may have done it there, buddy. I don't, even think, Eric, I don't even think Eric looked at those other two nope. parts. <laughs> I don't even think he did either yet. So now it's your best five cards. Best five cards. I, I haven't looked at these cards. I didn't Six. know I was allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> so he just bet fifteen dollars and didn't even know if he could. Is that to me? So uh, yeah, yeah, it's yes. on you still. Still your bet, Steve. Check. Ooh. Yes. Uh, you like that idea? Look at all that green. Look, five dollar <laughs> chips. How many? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight five dollar chips in the first in hand. That'll make your night right make there. Make your night. Think about it. What a pussy, Steve. And to think we had to kiss his ass for him to play cards. <laughs> now he's been punking the shit out of you. <laughs> what to do? You're already pulled. committed. What? Fold. Oh my oh, god! You folded. You threw all that. There you got. No, you don't even have to show. You don't yeah. have to show. You won. Fold. Oh my oh, god! Folded. It is Sunday morning, and it is just about pouring. Not quite, but it's very steady rain. No hunting today. No hunting allowed this Sunday. Uh, so we'll just have a little bit of an off day. We'll see what the guys want to do. Probably it'll involve food and football, I suppose. Uh, yeah, the generator is humming there, so we'll get some coffee going. And uh, like I said, oh, there's rain. Rain and more rain today. We'll see when it stops. Cook is on the grill already. Taylor pork roll and bagels. What we got here? And a little cheese. Mmm, I think that's my ribeye smoke from uh, last week. That still smells pretty good. What, do you got everything bagels? Yeah. Are they cut good? Are they cut okay? Thanks. Oh. Thanks, Cook. This looks great. <laughs> Let's go out and see this monster. There we go. That was a little breakfast. The anticipation. There he is. He's green themed. 
Where's the Gabagoo? Hey, Ma! The Gabagoo! All right, there goes Eric, the medical man, taking off. Sunday afternoon or morning. Have a good one, Eric. Just want to thank everyone that's been watching the channel and uh, the viewers that have been subscribing. Uh, if you noticed, I've recently kicked over 17,000. So each year I seem to be growing about a thousand pace, which is fine. I appreciate that. I appreciate you watching and contributing and, and uh, some of the uh, friendships I've made either you know, online or through email, etc. Surprising how many people like it and like the content and things like that. And I do appreciate that. And uh, this is my thank you for that. And again, 17,000. For me, it's humbling. I never thought I would get more than 70. I thought it would just be friends and family kind of thing more than anything else. So thanks again. I appreciate it. It's been a little bit slow and kind of a, a disappointing week for me again. Mike was up last weekend, then went back. I, I stayed here during the week and then Eric came up Thursday and uh, then Steve and Mike came back up uh, yesterday. So uh, it's been tough. Uh, we've not seen that many deer. Eric saw like seven doe screamed past his stand, as I mentioned, I think, and uh, a couple doe last night right at shooting time, but there was uh, a lot of a brush and interference between him, so he didn't want to make an unethical shot, which, you know, I as a as a hunter appreciate uh, him not taking a chance. Don't take it, take a sure shot, not a chancy shot. And I appreciate that. Uh, so it's been a little slow for us. Mike and I were out getting the Tony's pizza last night and down the bottom of our mountain. Uh, there was 30 deer out in the yards uh, there, and we're not lying, it was a pack of seven. You turn on the other side of the street, there's a pack of five, then a pack of four, then a pack of six. So it was, uh, they seem to be all down the mountain. No acorns up here this year, which is very disappointing, and that's, you know, there's not a lot of mass crop. My, my clover up there is less than a quarter acre. It's probably an eighth of an acre, and that's just not gonna sustain a bunch of deer they've got to eaten down now so we just don't have the the food for them so i don't think they're they've been up here uh there was this one nice deer taken on the mountain by one of our lady hunters and congrats to her uh, she's been hunting a long time in pa and this is her first pa buck so congratulations and you can see it's a little bit unusual with those uh those bumps on those antlers those extra points that were coming out uh very unusual should make a, a wonderful mountain and uh, congratulations uh, really really job well done yeah uh, my year's been uh, been pretty good this year uh i did manage to take this five point in delaware not the biggest deer in the world regardless of the size i was still excited about it i went to north carolina and you saw that hunt if not you can see it up here and uh my brother got a five point and then i got a five point in delaware and I texted him and uh, I said we were the Five Point Brothers and uh, he kind of liked that. Uh, we were happy with the deer that we harvested and that's the important thing for me is that the deer that you take, you're happy with. And it doesn't have to be an eight point, it doesn't have to be some giant mature deer because uh, you don't eat the horns. The horns are your, your trophy that you want to put up on the wall, but you're not eating those horns. So. Uh, I love, there's nobody else, I love big deer. I love when I see guys that take big deer and congratulations for them. You have a property that you can uh, grow those giant deer like that and be selective. Fantastic, that's what I would be doing. But uh, when my brother went down there, he took his deer. That was the first deer he took in about 30 years. Uh, he's got another a nice eight pointer long time ago. And this is the first time he was, there was a couple of times he's been out with me and the first one he's gotten and he was he was thrilled with it and that's what you should be with your deer and uh, don't be one of those guys that uh, just you just have to do some 8.130 inch deer because you know i'm not like that and i'm never going to be like that so if you came for that from this channel it's the wrong channel to be on uh, i like i like the hunting i like the camaraderie i like the deer camp the memories that you do keep in deer camp will stick there's memories that you take when you get that deer, they stick to, but it's it's all together. It's all that, that whole memory that uh, we really love here. So yes, my brother and I, Five Point Brothers, and uh, I, I like that too. Hey, Chairman. Making a little shark killery board here for the boys. Black gloves, hygiene first. 
um, want to say what's up to Ellen, who I ran into in Cape Cod at Treehouse Brewing. Nice guy, came over and said hi to me. Told him I'd give him a shout out. As usual, Mr. Lindemuth. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. And, uh, yeah, my girls, Bailey and Cam. Always say hi. That's really it. It's like the cotton. Peace. Cotton. Back to cotton. Tom's running a tough ship. Mm -hmm. We got salami. Mm. We got soup. Pepperoni. Uh, what was that? Aged Parmesan or provolone. White cheddar. Mm. Come. Where's the couple goal? Okay. Where's the couple Where's the couple go? Well, here's Steve's setup already for dinner tonight. It's about 12.30 now, Sunday afternoon, second Sunday. And uh, he's getting ready for a little picanha that he's going to do with uh, Brazilian style. He's got the Brazilian steakhouse seasoning. He's got those massive skewers. And uh, he's going to cut the picanha up and slice it up, put it on the grill. Hey, everyone. It's the chairman. Just here doing some cleaning, you know, since we don't help out around here. Rug looks pretty good. Damn. Can eat all that. Where's Tom? Oh, that's right. On the phone. Again. Tater? He's getting the taters in the pan. With cheese on top, too, I think. Yeah, I don't want to mix that cheese in there too much yet. Yes, get on the top. No, he's doing the right thing. He's good. He's, he's, his own, he's on it. He's only had a quarter of his beer so far today, like the rest of us. What do we got there again? The, the rolls? Cheese rolls. Cheese rolls. rolls. Okay. Right. And where are they at? And where's the one that you like? Go to? I ordered online, but the one is, I think there's one in Horsham in Warrington. Horsham? So basically it's a sirloin, really. I saw it on the, on the outside. Why do you do that if you're cutting it in strips? So it's still scored before you cut it it's easier that way. Yeah. I'm not even being he's he's, he's but you're much. cutting that in sections correct and then putting it on skewers <clears throat> boy it's foggy it's foggy in there Ooh. Ooh. my forts and fire knife working pretty good can you uh, open that up let me see what it looks like with the fat cat Oh my golly, look at that. That is that great triceps, by the way. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything different at home? Just go to the gym. You should try it sometime. Hmm. You look natural for a 50-year-old man. <clears throat> oh. Let me get a pic of that. Yeah. That's a nice fat cat. Fat cat. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, I love the sizzle. Fat cat looks great. You want the tongs or anything? Huh? I was going to put the whole thing in. Trying to. I'm just living like that. That's fine. These rolls are so rolls. Yeah. Till golden, that's it. Mm. Dogfish 120, letting it breathe a little bit. Nice. It's gonna go good with this steak. 12, 14 minutes, resting. One bite challenge. And one bite challenge. Yeah, it's tasty. I'll give you that. Now, this is gonna be something we're gonna talk about. You're going right in on the back, so yeah. yeah. Go for you don't it. have to, give it a whirl. Let me try it. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here we are Monday morning. Steve is relaxing with a coffee and a Tasty Cake Junior. You know what they are, you Philly guys. So uh, we're gonna go out. I'm just gonna go out for a, a little bit, get my stuff, come back, and I'm gonna start heading out. And Steve is gonna be here for a day or so. Best of luck to him. Unfortunately, Mike had to head home last night in the middle of the Eagles debacle. He wasn't too happy, I know that, but it was great seeing the chairman. Yeah, we had a good time at camp. Didn't see a lot this year, but uh, we'll see what happens. You never know what happens with Steve today, and uh, have a nice ride home. So uh, we'll see everybody a little bit. Well, this is the kind of trip it's been. I got to leave, and what do we got? A small tree down right across the road, but it looks light enough that I can just pull it right off the side here. But... Uh, I'll tell you, it's been one of them trips, that's for sure. But I really had a good time, as always. And uh, let's get this tree out of the way, and I'll see you down at Duncan. Well, that's the wrap on Deer Camp 2023. Uh, it was a good time. It was a little bit uh, scattered because uh, Mike was in, then left, and Eric came in and left, and Mike and Steve came in, and then Mike left again. And if uh, something happens with Steve up there, I'll certainly let everybody know. I'll continue on with this video. But uh, that does wrap it up for Deer Camp 2023. Uh, it was good to see everybody again, and uh, Eric, uh, it's almost been a year and a half hiatus, or if not two years, and uh, good to see him again. Typical typical Eric with his hockey bag, and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. So uh, this will about wrap up uh, 2023 for me. Uh, of course, I'll have this video and my uh, solo adventure, and uh, I'm about ready to get home for a good shower and uh, kiss the wife and uh, say hello to everybody and say hi to the new cats and see how they're doing. So this is White Rook 85 uh, for the chairman, for Camp Cook, for Medical Man, and missing this year, Syntex, uh, who said he will be back in the area for next year. So we will catch you next time.